You just go up, up, down, down, left, right. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're going to unlock a hidden way of unlocking your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now it's not just limited to the Galaxy S9 series, you can do this on some of the later models as well. But originally you only have five ways of unlocking your phone. You have swipe, pattern, pin, password, as well as none. And to go along with these, you do also have biometrics. But if you have a biometric that is set up, right now I have mine set up with Intelligent Scan, which is using face and iris, and I also have fingerprints. But when you have a biometric set up, you also have to have one of these on the very top, which is pattern, pin, or password. Now to unlock this hidden way, which again, I wanna say this is probably the coolest way of unlocking your Samsung Galaxy devices, is you wanna go back just a couple different screens and you're gonna scroll down to where it says accessibility. Now inside of accessibility, you have the option for direction lock. Now once you turn on direction lock, you do wanna put in one of your previous passwords from before, and this is where you wanna create a series of directions. So I'm gonna go up, up, down, down, left, right. And then once you are done, you hit on continue. You just go up, up, down, down, left, right. Now the previous password that you had set up, maybe if it was a pin or a password or or pattern that is now deleted, but you're still going to be able to use all your different biometrics. So let's say that we head back over into the lock screen and security, and we go right back over inside of here. Again, I have to use the directions to get inside of these settings. So up, up, down, down, left, right. And then once you hit on confirm, now you can see that I have that one right here that is unlocked. Now, right there, it mentions that it's, it is a low security. So swipe is no security, pattern is medium, pin is medium to high. I would probably say direction lock is more like the medium security, but I'm gonna show you the reasons why here in just a second, why Samsung put it in the category of low security. But I do wanna mention that even though this one is low security, right over here, I still have my biometric status turned on, which is using my intelligent scan as well as fingerprints. So now let's head back just a couple different screens so you can see exactly why Samsung put it in the category of low. But if you go through some of the different settings, you can see that it should be more like a medium. So when you go inside of your direction lock, you have a couple different options here. So first off, you have feedback of vibrations. So I do have mine set up because I know for a fact I'm giving a feedback if I'm unlocking my phone. Even if I'm unlocking Locking my phone behind my back. I can also unlock my phone with my eyes closed. Now, if you look at some of these here for sound, show, as well as read, you can kind of see why this is underneath accessibility because there's a lot of people out there that just need a little bit more help unlocking their phone. Maybe something with arthritis, it's kind of hard to type or press buttons. Maybe it's harder to see the screen. Uh, maybe it's hard to remember words with numbers and letters and such like that and directions might be easier. There's a whole bunch of different options and reasons why direction lock is gonna help a lot of people. Now with the sound feedback, it's gonna play a different tone if you do up, down, left or right. So if somebody was always listening to you unlocking your phone, that is how they'd be able to hear it. So I have mine turned off, um, but that's one of the reasons why they put this one as low security. The other one is showing of the direction. So like, let's say that we move back and we play a little bit with the unlock pattern. So now that mine is saying that it's going to show it, you can see what my arrows are and what I am pressing and people can see that and then now they'd be able to also unlock your phone. So if you don't need it to show your directions, try to have that one also turned off and then you can also have it read aloud. So if you need help seeing your screen and it's easier for you to hear what you're typing to get in your phone, you can have this thing read your drawn directions aloud and again, completely makes your phone not safe anymore. That is why this one's set up underneath the low security, but mine is set up with with only vibration and I would almost probably put this one as something that would be a medium security because I'd be able to do this thing in my pocket. I can put it behind my back. I can do anything and everything I need to. I don't need to have the phone looking directly at me wherever there were like other people also looking at me. And if I can do my directions extremely fast, you might not have noticed or picked up what I was doing. But if I was making a little pattern with a little V or an M or an N or a U or something like that, people can pick up that pattern. And that is why I would probably put this one underneath the medium security, maybe closer to pin, something that's a little bit more secure than the pattern. Now, one important thing I do want to mention to you guys is that if you have your direction lock set up and you want to change it back to something else, if you go inside of your settings and you go down to your accessibility and then you go to direction lock, if you turn this thing off, right now at this screen, it'll actually delete all of your biometrics. It'll delete pretty much all the different lock screens. And so you're gonna start all the way over. And if that's perfectly fine for you, you'd also be able to do that. So it will be able to take away the directional lock, facial 
facial recognition, fingerprints, as well as iris. Now the best way to turn this one off is by going right back over into your lock screen and security. And when you go to your screen lock type on the very top, you do wanna put in whatever your code was from before. Now on the very top, switch it to one of these first. So right now I'm gonna switch it to pin. I'm gonna put it right back over into that password you should never ever use, which is one, two, three, four. And now that my screen lock type has been changed, what I'm going to do is now head over to accessibility. I'm gonna to go to the directional lock and now I can turn this thing off because now this is not linked up with any biometrics. And so now I'm still able to use my fingerprint, my iris, my facial recognition, because right now I'm using the intelligent scan and now I went right back over into my pin of unlocking the device. Now the fun thing is, is now that you have that thing completely turned off and you head right back over inside your options, the directional lock is now gone. So now you basically just made this thing hidden again, you turn it back off, you disabled it, and now you're right back to where you were from before. So I hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe you can hit subscribe right over here or below the video share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and let me know in the comments below what is the screen lock type that you use and other than that i'll see you guys later